joined again by um, our 18s coach Alex Newell and also Will Rowland, um, an under 18s player who's showing great signs. Um, Alex, talk us through the under 18s program to this point. I think we've caught up probably a number of weeks ago. So, um, how's your back half of the year gone? Yeah, our back half of the year is um, we've we face some challenges in, in terms of um, personnel changeover with um, with college and um, fortunate enough to, to have a few guys get some opportunities in the reserves as well, which is um, you know caused a lot of changes with personnel, but has given opportunities to a lot of other guys, um, which is a, a real shining light. Um, you know, we we unfortunately had th probably four or five losses in a row there, which we struggled for some continuity, which has probably been probably been the theme of our season, to be honest. But our, our last three weeks have been really, really solid and um, resulting in, in one win. But, um, you know, even even the games we didn't quite get the job done, we were extremely competitive and started to show our brand that we had earlier in the year. And that's basically our goal for the back end of the year is to keep that, just try, try and gain some consistency, which we've probably been struggling with both in terms of performance and, and with some challenges off the field as well. So. Um, that's our goal going forward, but yeah, we, we, we've we've struggled for consistency, but um, we certainly still had some some good performances all around. You played on Wednesday night against Central's a night game. That, um, obviously, with all the college boys going out of the site, it must have been nice to have a full contingent. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. It was nice to uh, have a, basically a full f uh, table to pick from, which is is not always the case. Um, and yeah, we, we played probably a half of what was I would consider probably our best half all year and it looked like a really strong Nord game of football and um, unfortunately we, we just couldn't stick at it for, for long enough, which I, as I said has been a little bit of a theme for us. But you know, we, we took a lot of positives out of that game, both collectively and, and some individual performances and, and we'll use those going forward for the rest of the year to try and catapult into um, next year for seniors for some guys and the guys that stay in the 18s to, to get them going again for next year. So there's a lot of positives to take out of it. Yeah, so next year is uh, a lot of promising signs, like you said. A few under-16s have come up. Uh, Will Prescott and Noah Dorr have both come into the under-18s team. Talk yep. us through uh, those those boys have performed really well. They have performed really well. So they, they were two guys that were playing some really dominant football in the under-16s, and um, they actually sort of um, uh, fitted a couple of positions that we, we needed. And, um, you know, I was in constant talks with Craig Roberts, the under-16s coach, about... Um, sort of getting those guys ready to, to take the step up and um, when they both came up Noah's, Noah's come back from a pretty horrific leg injury and um, played some strong footy, came up to the 18s and he, he's just a competitive beast, he just wants to challenge himself any way he can and he, he did just that, he got a couple of best on grounds and um, really held his own and um, really was a pillar down back for us to be honest and he's going to take a lot out of that um, for the next couple of years for him and, and Prescott was a he's, a he's a sort of a small damaging forward and he jumped at the chance to come up and he did exactly what we asked of him he hit the scoreboard he put plenty of pressure on and um, both of those guys fit in seamlessly and um, you know they take their hat off to them they, they attacked it and they got the results because of it yeah it's uh, that time of the year where the national under 18 combines about to commence um, Got three Norwood boys, Logan Evans, Orlando Turner, and the man sitting next to you, yeah. Rollins. Um, talk us through um, those lads. Yeah, so Logan, I've seen most with Logan. He's um, he's been with the seniors for, for pretty much all year, so he's he's played some good footy at, at both at league level and at, at reserves. Um, Orlando Turner's uh, he's one of our college contingency, so. Um, we haven't seen a lot of him uh, again, but he's, he's been playing some good footy at Ross Trevor. And probably the one I can speak the most of is Will um, sitting next to me. So Will's, um, he played for the Allies in the, the National Carnival and unfortunately um, injured his shoulder there. So he was limited in terms of the games he played. But I think Will's, Will's got some attributes and he's, he's got some, some weapons, evidently. That's why he's been invited to the Combine. But I think the biggest testament to Will is um, you know, we, we had some conversations at the start of the preseason about where he was at and what he needed to do to, to enhance, you know, he, showcase his weapons and, and basically get him to a level where he can, he can show what he's got. And to his credit, he's, he did that. He, you know, he put his head down and he got to work. And um, I think that's the, the biggest area for Will going forward is he, he knows what works for him and he knows what he needs to work on. And, um, he's so far in the last 10 months has, has shown that he's willing to do that and it's probably resulted in him playing allies and him getting invited to the combine. So I'm, I'm really proud of him for that. But Will's job's not done yet. He's, he's still got some work to do and we're very transparent on what that is. And um, I've got 
full faith in him that he'll he'll give it a fair crack. Yeah, that's a glowing endorsement, Will. Uh, we'll, we'll get to you in a moment, but there's a few other lads here as well. Um, a few have played in the under-18s, uh, in the reserves from the under-18 squad. Um, Will's one of them, Jaden Mead, um, Callum Crolleg and Jacob Jones. Um, great um, experience for them. Oh, absolutely. And, and not just played up there, but actually gone up there and contributed um, in, in their outputs, which is really impressive. All those guys, you know, sh realistically should be, should be aiming to, to be on the senior list next year. So that exposure to them is only going to do them good. And we're really proud of the fact that they um, have from the 18s program, they've taken enough to enable them to go up. And um, as much as we miss them, it's, it's, it's almost an endorsement of our program as well. And, and yeah, we're really proud of those guys for, for what they've done. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to their future at Nord. Uh, Will, over to you now. Um, have you enjoyed your under 18s here? It's no, it's uh, been a, uh, a pretty pretty good experience uh, si since the start. Um, it's uh, it's been up and down uh, through uh, the games that were um, definitely winnable. Uh, it was just yeah times that we uh, lapsed throughout the games um, where we let ourselves down, but we knew at the same time where um, when we played our Norwood brand of footy, it really showed that we were could have been uh, one of the stronger teams in the competition but um yeah we're still working on that even with the couple of games left that we uh we can show what what we can do on the footy field and um yeah show a bit of fight yeah definitely um how is your experience in the uh, national under 18s carnival um representing the allies uh, due to your nt connection yeah uh well yeah what norla said before touching on it well i had a um a, a short carnival uh considering my um, injury halfway through. But um, yeah, no, I, I really, um, it was a, it was an eye opener in terms of, um, you know, seeing what, um, you know, at a different different level can do. And um, yeah, it was um, a really good experience. And uh, yeah, I would treasure that for, for a while. Yeah, definitely. Um, how was it coming up against SA and playing against uh, Logan, who you know reasonably well? Yeah, no, nah, we, uh, we had a bit of a bit of a chat on the field. Uh, uh, yeah, a bit of on-field on on-field chat. That was um, yeah, it was a, I guess pretty funny in, in in a way. So um, yeah, no, it was it was good to face up against him and um, go go against a uh, state that's uh, you know that we haven't uh, beaten for a while. I think so. Um, yeah, no, it was uh, it was good to get away with the win and um, yeah, show a bit of a uh, bit of lip back to uh, Logan as well. <laughs> Definitely. Um, it look looked like uh, the Allies squad is really quite strong this year. Won a, a number of games. Talk us through, I guess, that pathway and um, how much it's developed over the few years. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I guess in that sense where um, I guess the boys coming uh, across um, different sides of, uh, of Australia was um, bit, probably the most challenging thing to, uh, I guess, come together, at, you know, in a... Uh, I guess short amount of time and being able to play the footy that we were playing through the carnival was um, I guess a really challenging thing and it uh, brought us together through the first couple of games when we did get a couple of wins on the board early and um, yeah no it was just a really great experience and uh, I guess learning um, different people's you know um, lives and what they've gone through and uh, yeah I guess brings out another environment um, within the group as well. Yeah definitely. You got Pretty up close to um, Sanders, who of course won the medal. Yep. Um, a Tasmanian boy and, and, and the brother of um, Oliver mm -hmm. here, who plays um, league footy. Um, how was it yeah, getting alongside um, one of one of the best players in Australia? Yeah, well, he's. Oh, I'd say, yeah, from from my opinion, he is one of the, the the better players in in this draft coming up. And not just that, he's like. He's a, he's a great he's a great bloke like so down to earth so um he uh, he uh, taught me a few things um, I guess to, to get better on field and uh, off field as well he uh, he taught me that um you know just to be more humble and and in that sense as well so he's just uh, a really talented guy and just a really you know, top bloke yeah definitely a shorter carnival for you but how much do you learn and bring back to the Norwood group yeah well um. It, it it was good even with a yeah short experience it, through the allies. I um yeah I thought I brought back a, a few things learnt from them uh, from the allies to bring back to the to this group of boys to this program, and um yeah no I thought yeah it was did what I can do really. No, good to hear. Invited to the the combine as well, which is coming up. Uh, are you excited about that opportunity? 
uh, yeah, pumped. I um, wrapped them on, um, yeah, the achievement I've made right now. But it's, yeah, it's not done yet. And um, I've still got a few more steps to go to uh, uh, complete uh, my uh, my goals that I've uh, put put in place at the start of the season. Yeah, talk us through a few of your, your goals over the next few years, mate. Uh, well, first of all, just, uh, I guess, trying to get to my, my dream first to get to, uh, you know, the professional level AFL. And, um, yeah, just really, um, I guess, going from there, really haven't really thought that far ahead. So, um, yeah, see how it goes. That's fantastic. Um, and, and you've got to know a few of these boys, both through Norwood and your allies. Um, whose future um, of these Norwood boys are you just looking forward to seeing blossom? I'm really looking forward to um, uh, Jay Polkinorn uh, really, you know, thrive in his um, top age year next year and years to come as well. I reckon he's just a, a, a talent that hasn't been um, unravelled yet. And uh, I, in years to come, I reckon he would be a, a, a real weapon uh, going into it. Yeah, Jay seems like a pretty easy boy to coach. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Jay fan. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Jay fan. Uh, he's, a, he's, he's an easy, easy going guy, super coachable, and as we'll see, he, he's got a lot of talent. And there's probably some that hasn't been harnessed yet. And if it can be, I think Jay's got a very high ceiling. Um, but again, Jay's, Jay's got a bit to do before we get to that. But yeah, Jay's Jay's one to watch. Yeah, fantastic, and uh, tearing it up at local level as well. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, if you're kicking 17 goals at, at local level. Um, you know, it's uh, probably is a testament to where you're at in terms of talent. So now nah, Jay's. Jay's a good one. We've yeah, got a good one there. That's good. And uh, well, finally, how was your uh, reserves experience playing, coming up against the bigger bodies and, and playing at the top? Well, yeah, it was um, definitely an eye opener, just with the bigger bodies and whatnot. But um, oh, I, I, I loved it. I loved every second of it. And um, yeah, I reckon it um, helped me, I guess, develop more into what could happen in years to come. So um, yeah, no, it was good, a good experience and. I guess bringing it back down to uh, the the eighteens program as well can uh, help out the other boys on on their progress um, throughout you know their development stages and uh, leading up to uh, seniors. Definitely, is there a, a player that you model your game on? Um, not yeah, uh, yeah, not really. That uh, there is. Uh, it's it's, <laughs> it's Toby Toby Green. Toby Green. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll say that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Well, boys, um, thank you very much for, for joining me. We're all the best for the future. And um, Alex, uh, good luck for the rest of the year. Thanks, mate. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Cheers.